Hi and welcome to HUDKing.com, your source for real virtual tours in HUD homes in and around the San Antonio area. If you're watching this on HUDKing.com, click on the bird to follow us on Twitter, click on the F to follow us on Facebook, or click on the YouTube link to be taken to our YouTube page. While you're at our YouTube page, if you click on the subscribe button, you'll be instantly notified of new uploaded videos. Now on to the home. We are here at 4411 Stetson Park. That's 4411 Stetson Park down in Southton Village, which is off of 37, also known as 281, right by Braunig Lake, just outside of Loop 1604. This is a four bedroom, two and a half bath, two story home. It has a one car garage, approximately 2,097 square feet. So just under 2,100 square feet. And it was built in 2009, relatively new construction. Sits on about a 5,000 square foot lot, and best of all, it's about $7,000 underneath the county appraisal. $7,000 underneath the county appraisal. Exterior of this home is all hardy plank. There is some wood trim, and it's in decent condition. A little bit of a cracked beam here, but that can be hammered back and caulked, and probably you won't even know. It does have a big rosemary bush up here up front. Some really pretty sago palms, and exterior-wise, really in decent condition, as you can see. Let's look at the backyard, and then we'll look at the inside. Well, we step into the backyard through a sliding glass door off of the dining room. They did construct a cupboard patio here, which appears to be in okay shape. You may need to come back and replace a few pieces of rotted wood. It does have a fruit-bearing orange tree over here. And it's pretty much a standard residential lot. Give you a rear view. Yeah, so that deck might need a little bit of work. Exterior-wise in decent shape. Let's take a look at the inside. Well, as we step into the home, we are immediately into your big combined living and dining room. It's one big open space. This space will need a fresh coat of paint and some flooring. To the right here, we have a little nook that you could put a one of those coat hangers, you know, with old style, put a little hat on top. Big open space, I like how open it is. If we continue forward and right over here, we have a little half bath. This is basically a single vanity and a commode. Has linoleum flooring in there, really just needs a fresh coat of paint and I would consider changing that flooring. We then come over to your kitchen and your breakfast area. Electric range, you have a little area here for a little breakfast table with those sliding glass doors take you outside. Your refrigerator would go here. And then we had the indoor utility room and pantry combo, very standard. Indoor washer and dryer connections, and then your pantry here. The home, as you can see, is missing the water heater, so you'll need to install a water heater. And then we have your one-car garage. Pretty standard one-car garage, it's been finished out. All bedrooms will be upstairs. So downstairs, it needs a fresh coat of paint, it needs a little bit of carpeting, and a water heater make our way upstairs and I think the carpeting in the whole home should probably be replaced. Now as we get upstairs, if we turn to the left of the staircase, right up at the front of the home we have bedroom number one or your master bedroom and your master bathroom. This is right above the living area. Master bathroom, good size bathroom actually. It does look like it has an upgraded vanity and countertops. It's like granite countertops there, really nice sinks. We have a shower and tub combo, your commode, and then your master walk-in closet, good sized closet. You do also have a little nook over here. On some of these homes, they do have sometimes a separate shower and tub with an upgrade, but this one they didn't opt for that. So you have a little nook there, put a, maybe put a little mirror and a, a makeup station if you like. Right next to bedroom number one, the master bedroom, we have bedroom number two. Bedroom number two, pretty standard bedroom. We'll need a fresh coat of paint and some flooring. Next to bedroom two, we have bedroom three at the back of the home. Bedroom number three, we'll need a fresh coat of paint and some flooring. And then directly across from that, we have bedroom number four. Bedroom number four, same thing, fresh coat of paint and some flooring. And then we have full bathroom number two. Full bathroom number two is a shower and tub combo. Single vanity and linoleum flooring. So that's about it guys. As I said, the home's about $7,000 underneath the county appraisal. All it really needs is a little bit of painting and a little bit of flooring and you're done. Let me give you a summary.
Well, there it is, 4411 Stetson Park. That's 4411 Stetson Park. A very nice two-story, four-bedroom, two-and-a-half-bath home. All it really needs is a fresh coat of paint and a little bit of flooring, and you're pretty much ready to move into it. This home is also priced about $7,000 underneath the county appraisal, listed right now for only $133,000. So if you're interested in this home and you don't have a realtor, I would love to earn your business. You can reach me at 210-706-0616. My name is Jonathan. I am the HUD King, and I want to help you find your castle.